introduce me the team is Adam Short. Adam, how would you describe your role in the yard? Um, busy. <laughs> 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 um, it's a good question. I um, I suppose I'm a, like assistant yard manager to Jackie. I am a bit of a travelling groom, travel a lot, and um, that's it really. Yeah, yeah. lorry driver. Lorry extreme. driver. Yeah, yeah. A horse tackle up Arara. <laughs> <laughs> All round superstar. <laughs> it's amazing. You've been here for two seasons, and I take it back to when I got your CV and it wouldn't be the normal CV. Tell us a little bit about home and where you're from. I am from Newcastle upon Tyne, a little bit of Geordies. Um, I was at uni for one year, or well, lasted, um, studying biochemistry, which was... Um, Key skills that have helped you at Cox <laughs> <Yeah. Bay> <laughs> um, Which was interesting, yeah, no, I, it, it was all right, but it wasn't for me. Um, so when I was kind of thinking about my options, I saw the job advertised here. Um, so it was one of them things that if I'd got this job, I was going to leave uni and it was all like, yeah. Or if I didn't get the job, I would still be there, so. <laughs> but where's I mean, home? Like, home is not rolling countryside, is it? Home, no, home is like town, like in the middle of town. So it's a, around here, it's like dead. It's a, it's a dead town. <laughs> <laughs> no clubs, no parties. Exactly, yeah, yeah. But where did that passion and that knowledge for horses come from? It started from a very young age. Three years old, I wanted a dog for Christmas. And um, my mum wouldn't get this dog. So she got us a few riding lessons, thought that would be it. And here we are now. And what, what's, your, what's your mum and your dad's background? Because that's not horses, No, is accountants. It? They're full-on town folk. And my brother is like a computer geek, all inside freaks. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> it's, it's an extraordinary, uh, it's an extraordinary place to end up in. But you fitted in so unbelievably well. What, like, from all the biochemistry, from all the different things, what do you think you've brought in with you? Where have those skills come from? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I learned to ride in the riding school, and I was surrounded by totally a huge range of different people from all different backgrounds, and I think it gives you a good insight into into everyone's different lifestyle and, and how how you've got to adapt and adjust when you're with different people as to what their circumstances are. Oh, look, oh, oh, look there's my favourite dog. Here's your special friend. Hey, cute <laughs> Dizzy. Faye. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> ends up sleeping with you when we're away. Yeah, it's my bed. What struck me is your people skills, because you're clearly brilliant with the horses, but but how you are with the people is mad. I can talk a lot of rubbish. That's a, <laughs> that's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> What do you feel you've got the most out of being as part of the team? Oh, yeah, probably meeting all the different people. Um, I love all the all the owner days. I love going to events and seeing all the different friends and such a good community. Um, and what about in terms of the horses? Because you came here, oh, you God. could ride OK. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, your riding's improved Yeah, now and... yeah. And, like, from a riding school background, you just, you just know the basics. So, um, yeah, that's grown massively in my knowledge on all things horse. I feel like if when I move on to my next step, I feel I'm fully prepared for like, life, mm -hmm. for horse life, yeah. Who's your favourite horse here in the team? Oh, I love my big boys, um, Little Fire and Oratorio. They're like my, my, my boys. Um, love going away with them and love spending time with them and it's, yeah. What was going and grooming at Badminton like? Ah, oh, incredible. Like, it's such a, it's like, I remember watching it on the TV when I was little, and, and then you're there, and it's, it's, it's crazy. Like, it was, it was surreal. It was a lot of tears. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of tears. Um, what, was, what was the weirdest and most amazing thing about Badminton? Just how together everyone is. Like, you would expect it would be totally separate for grooms over here, riders here, public there, but everyone's just so involved, and like, it's, it's great that you can just involve with everyone and people come up to you and be like, oh my God, and it's just nice to be able to talk to people and they can appreciate what you do and yeah, no, it's great. Mm -hmm. What's the standout thing of those two horses? What's the thing that makes them? Oh, they're just mega, aren't they? Like, they're just, they're just fab. Every time you watch them, it's like, it does bring a tear to your eye. Um, they're just, no, nah, they're fab. And I, do, I love all the horses, but you get it, you do get connections with the, with these special ones and I think when you spend time one-on-one -on -one with them both of them horses have been away with by myself and you really get get time to just know each other and we've got good bonds mm. yeah. the thing also that we were really keen to get you to experience and it put came off was going to Tokyo oh god that was can you tell so a little bit real. about what that was and what you got so from the Olympic test event we went to this year 
and um, yeah, flew over to Tokyo. It was absolutely incredible. Like the whole setup. I might just there. say that it's amazing. managed to get an upgrade. Uh, business Oops. class, yeah. Or on the way home, <laughs> lovely. <laughs> what should people expect when they go there for for the big one? Um, how warm it is. <laughs> it was so warm and humid as well, and it was. Um, just crazy things that you would never ever think about doing here. You've got to always have it in your mind, like, oh, heat, or, oh, um, all the You quite like the ice jacket, didn't you? Oh, I love the ice jacket, yeah. <laughs> I was walking that down all the time. <laughs> <laughs> what were the facilities like for the horses? Oh, incredible, incredible. All the barns, fully air conditioned. I mean, there was freezing cold water everywhere you went, um, in, including for the, for the grooms and the riders as well. There was bottled water always, always there. Um, and yeah, it was just, incredible and that was my first kind of team GB um, thing so it was quite nice to be involved with the team thing and meet some more people yeah I know it was fab. What's amazing about you though is you're 21 and you went into that and you would never have known that you had been involved in that for, for many many years you just got in because <laughs> you're you are all about the team aren't you? Yeah 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 it's all it's a team thing and I was really lucky to be with people um, that had got loads of experience um, William there and uh, one of the grooms, Alex, was there who's, who's done it a million times before. So it's nice to, Jackie was there too. So they're all absolute pros. So it's nice to take away all the bits, mm -hmm. all the different things. Yeah. And what about you you and William? I, I love watching you guys, like I love watching Jackie and William work together yeah. because you're kind of like boss, son, <laughs> team member, <laughs> uh, bros. <laughs> bro, bros. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you what do you think makes him as good as he is and what has he what's the sort of big nugget of information you think you've got from him I like how committed he is um, I like how communicative is that a word yeah communicative communicative That's is that it. word you yeah <laughs> posh word um, he is and it's just so easy to work with and it makes it so so much fun. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's never there's never a dull moment like we can always we can be serious. One minute then we can have a bit of banter and it's all yeah no it's, it's good fun. And watching you two with the horses, particularly with Jackie's input as well, yeah. it seems like um, every little detail, it's that marginal difference, isn't yeah, it? You're yeah, all yeah. you three are always thinking outside the box. We, yeah, how can we how can we push it to the next level? How can we make it better? Mm -hmm. How can we win? <laughs> and the next thing as well, of course, is that the amazing Catherine Witt, who's been such a big part of Fox Pit eventing, has now become an owner. Yeah. Yay. So I've been very, very lucky to have the ride on lovely secret night. Um, who's been absolutely fab he's taken me from first little B nineties to intermediates and two stars. So no, it, it is amazing and it's so great to get that aspect of it as well, the competing side, more um, more invaluable experience for... Mm -hmm. for because he had like, won a three star yeah, yeah. and then William and Catherine decided that they'd give you the opportunity to ride yeah. him and he's like the ultimate schoolmaster, oh, isn't he? a legend, he? total legend mm. um, and I really, really love going, going with him as well and having a look to around. Off yeah, I know, we have to watch the videos, I'm afraid. Um, but tell us quickly, best bit of the job, worst bit of the job? Ah, oh, probably best bit of the job, I love the travelling. Going away, seeing all my friends, um, meeting new people, spending time with the horses, seeing the horses do well. That's absolutely the best bit. Worst bit? Good question. Mm. Um, I don't know. What do, uh, there's nothing I don't enjoy. And if somebody came in and was starting out, what advice would you give them? Um, always smile and always be a team player. Boom. <laughs>